At the beginning of the week, when I was introducing Groot to the place command, one of the things that we worked on was teaching him the boundary of the place cot. So this means that when the dog goes on place, we don't want him stepping off unless given a command by the handler. So as you can see here in the video, um, when I put Groot on place, and I continued to walk, he stepped off place to follow me. So before we used our remote collar, I first taught all of this to Groot using leash and prong. And now I'm in the process of layering the remote collar over the top of that. So I was using the remote collar to guide Groot onto place, but then when he stepped off it, I also used the remote collar to stop him from continuing to leave place and then to guide him back onto place. So the remote collar is very much a means of communication. It's a medium of communication so that I can have a language with the dog that helps guide him into the choices that I do want to cultivate with him and also influence the choices that I don't want to cultivate with him.